Hey, so just like how you ask questions to Claude, for example, why is the sky blue? And it provides you the answer. How about you connect Claude directly to your Airtable base and generate any type of content? In this case, I have some meeting notes as you can see here. And I can use Claude to summarize all these meeting notes in this column. So let's see how it can be done. So for that, you need this script. This is multi AI Airtable script, and using it, you can connect uh, OpenAI, Claude, Gemini, Grok, Perplexity, DeepSeek, and so on. So when you get the script, you receive this Notion document. And here you will have the scripts for all these AI models. For example, in this case, we are using Anthropic Claude. So I'll just scroll down and copy the script from here. Then go back to Airtable. And as you can see that I have a bunch of columns, meeting title, date, attendees, raw meeting notes, action items, and a prompt. So this is the question that will be giving AI. And in return, we will want the output from AI in this column. So if I show you the prompt, this is a formula field and the formula is very detailed. It looks like this. I have a detail prompt and these curly braces, these are dynamic fields coming from here, 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 as you can see. So backslash N is for new lines and rest is just plain text as you can see here. And the formula or the prompt is generated for all these rows. If I expand this, you can see that this is a detailed formula, meeting title, which is coming from here, date, which is coming from here, and so on. And now I want the output here. So to connect the script, you need an extension called a scripting. So click on the extensions, add an extension, and then click here, a scripting, it says. So just click on it add extension and the extension will be added and you just need to paste the script that you copied from notion so let me cancel it delete the existing scripts and then just paste everything that you copied and you will see some fields appear in the right side you can cancel it or close the pop-up click on this finish editing button and then expand it you can see that everything is visible now now you need to select the table for example, meeting notes, which is coming from here, there is only one table, so you will see only one table in the drop down. The view name, view name will come from here, grid view that you see, or you can click on this views and then you can see the view name. So you'll have to write exactly as it is. Enter prompt field names. So in this case, my prompts or questions are in this field called prompt. So I'll write prompt. And then the output field name for this prompt. So for this prompt, I want the output in the summarized notes column. So I'll write just that. Then you need your Anthropic API or Claude API, which you can get from here. When you visit this URL, it will ask you to create an account or log in, and then you will be able to generate the API. I have already generated my API, so I'll just paste here and make sure to keep your API private, otherwise anyone can use it and then you will be charged for that. So next, select the Claude model. So we have these models available. 3.7 Sonnet latest is the latest one and then these are some older models. So in this case, I'll select the latest 3.7 Sonnet model. Enter temperature from 0 to 1. So generally, I have noticed that 0 0.7 works the best. It gives balanced output. So I'll write that. Enter max tokens. So max tokens limit how long your responses can be. But it doesn't matter a lot actually. Even if you write your max token value a lot higher, you can still control the output's length from your prompt. For example, you can just mention in the prompt that keep the output under 100 words or 200 words and it will follow. So most of the time, I just write 1000 in the max tokens value. Enter system prompt. So in this case, I'll write something like, be precise, do not use uncommon words and phrases. And it's done. When you click on this run button, you can see the outputs will start appearing here. So let's run it. It says processing records, processing row, this one.
which must be the first row and you should see the output here yes this is the first output q2 marketing strategy meeting summary the team met to discuss the q2 marketing strategy focusing on the upcoming summer campaign centered around trees they agreed to increase tiktok posting frequency to twice daily and discussed a budget increase request of 200 dollars for tiktok in initiatives the team identified challenges with the speed of design idea generation and slow ad approval process that need to be addressed action items john to finalize ad creatives sarah to draft tiktok ideas and mike to revise budget proposal to include the additional 200 dollars for tiktok and it generated the output for all of these roles if you are not happy with this output you can just delete it and it will regenerate just for this empty cell for example i click on the run button and it will generate just for this and the script will stop as you can see you can also use different model for example let me delete this again and this time i want to use a 3.5 sonnet model so i clicked on this settings icon i scroll down and change the model from here 3.5 sonnet latest and then click on the run button and it, this time you will see the output from the 3.5 sonnet model yeah as you can see here so yes this is how it works and i'll put a link to the script in the description below you can get it from there so that's it for the video and see you in the next video